Well, nine cats and counting. That's the number of dead felines discovered on the side of Howard Franklin Bridge in the past month and a half. But one very lucky little kitty has nine lives for sure and beat the odds. Look at Peter getting close there. Exactly how the cats are ending up in the span between St. Petersburg and Tampa is still a mystery. Some theorize that they're being tossed from moving cars. News Channel Peter Bernard is live along the Howard Franklin tonight. So how did this little kitten manage to be spotted in the first place on that busy roadway and get picked up? It's amazing, Josh. A vet tech who works for Blue Pearl was driving along the Howard Franklin. She spotted the cat running along the center wall. She stopped, scooped him up, and took him to her, off to her office. Uh, this is little Howard Franklin. We've been calling him Frank. Mm -hmm. Victoria Dallum's commute takes her across the Howard Franklin Bridge to her job at Blue Pearl Veterinary Partners in Tampa. But I saw him running along the little concrete wall there on the far left side. I saw this little puffball thing running along, and I was like, oh, no! Um, so I was able to pull over my And grab right. this little three-month-old, six-toed tabby. Vets at her job discovered an injured nose, some bottom teeth knocked out, and an abrasion on his head. But he's so, such a sweet, like, nice, like, laid-back little dude. Yeah. Um, so I, I can't imagine he got out there on his own. How I've many? seen five, four dead and one alive, and I, I couldn't get to the alive, the one that was still living. Cat sightings on the bridge began in late May. Mary Beth Singh has a theory of how they're getting out here. This is someone that just doesn't like cats, that's throwing them out of a car window alive. Yeah, smell that. Cats love noses. Frank is one of the lucky ones. He's been around people and isn't feral, but other cats haven't been so lucky. And if the person who's doing this is watching this, I just... Please stop. So it just blows my mind to try to con conceive of, of people doing such a thing. The remote location precludes any notion the cats walked out here. It's just a terrible way for an animal to die. It's just, it's terrible. As for Frank, he already has a new home. I couldn't give him up. I love him. So if someone is throwing cats out of a moving car, and that's a big if, because we don't know for sure if that's the case, you're encouraged to call Star FHP and report it right away. Josh? All right. Happy ending there for uh, Frank, though. We appreciate that. Peter Bernard, live in Pinellas County. Thanks so much.